Seeking justice for a family, a store owner, and the father of two who were found dead. Police are hoping that new video will help them solve the seven year old murder case. NBC4's John Caddy's Klimak has more from Van Nuys, where his family is hoping for some kind of closure. Evidence is mounting in a seven year old murder case that left the young father of two dead inside his own store. Now, the family says more so than justice, they need closure. LAPD has never released this video until now, and only to NBC4. What appears to be 32 year old Kenny Folks Jackson speaking to someone in the parking lot of the strip mall where he owned this cell phone store seven years ago at the corner of Satakoy and Sepulveda and Van Nuys. It was this night someone would put a gun to his head and kill him. They stole my son's life. Tina Sway Johnson, his mother, says their family still today feels victimized. And at this point, they continue to steal. They're stealing our future. We need closure. LAPD homicide detective Mark Martinez says Folks Jackson had already closed up for the day, but stayed behind, which wasn't unusual as the owner of the business. But what happened late that night in May of 2013 is what police now hope someone will have the courage to explain. Anything that would point in the direction to a suspect, anybody that knows anything about this case, anybody that knows Kenny. My dad, my hero, my champion. Natalia was only five years old when it happened. In the years since, she and her brother have been forced to grow up without their father. But it's not like he's not here with me on a daily. I mean, I have him spiritually and mentally, but it's, it's really different. But not knowing what happened and why is what's kept this family grieving for seven years. I feel as his daughter, I deserve to know the truth. The family believes it was someone Folks Jackson knew, someone he may have trusted. Crime scene photos show the store nearly untouched, but LAPD says cell phones and cash were taken, and whoever did it locked the door on the way out. This happened the Friday before Mother's Day, if you can imagine. I've not celebrated a Mother's Day in seven years. I dread Mother's Day because every year that's an anniversary that I live without my child. It took more than seven years, but there is now a $50,000 reward leading to information that could help find the killer in this case. If you know anything, contact LAPD Van Nuys Homicide Division. Reporting in Van Nuys, I'm John Cadiz Klimak, NBC4 News. Now